Hello everybody, and today I'm going to be showing you how to use Mail Merge in, um, in Adobe Illustrator. So pretty much what it is, is it automatically um, does, so it automatically makes things happen. So instead of you having to go and retype everything in, it automatically just, so if you already have all the, all the, uh, all the data stored, then you can just instantly um, go ahead and load that data. For example, I already have um, all this data loaded, and so I'm just going to um, import it into that, and then um, and then it will give me it will export whatever I import. So um, the first thing you need to do is go so go into window so create a new one. So I just created this new one. It's called Untitled One. So I just created this and I put these three texts. And so that's all I've done. I've just imported it. And then I went to Window and then I made sure links and variables were on. So um and so if you turn if you switch so if you turn on links, then um you should automatically get actions as well. But if you don't get actions, then you can just go up there and turn it on, and then you'll get actions. Um, but otherwise, so you just need links and variables. Properties doesn't really matter, but you just need variables and links. So this um, this SVG interactive read, just don't worry about that. That's just I don't know what that is. That's just something else. So um, the first thing you need to do is so if you have pictures, that you can also change pictures. So um, the first thing you need to do is import those pictures. So if I go into here, I have this, and uh, sorry, um, yeah, let me just open that. So I have that. So if I just import it into there, it goes like that. I'm just going to put it down here, and you can see that it automatically links because I dragged it directly from here. It automatically linked it into here, so that's good. You want to link, it. and you want to make sure. So, you, um, if it doesn't link, then you can click on this image and then click relink, and then you can show it what photo you got it from. So photos, and then nothing, and then place. So that links it to that image. Okay. So now, once you've linked all the images that you want to change. Um, next thing you're going to do is link all the text that you want to repeatedly change. So, um, pretty much you go into variables here, you click on a text, and then you click this uh, new variable button. Sorry, sorry. You don't click new variable button. Okay, I messed that up. Um, you have to click like this Lego. So, click on this, and then you have to click this first option, make text dynamic. Looks like this little Lego brick with a uh, spinning cog symbol on it. So make text dynamic. And then now you have variable one. And you're just going to do the same thing with the next text and third text. And then you can also do the same with pictures. Right there. So that changes it into a picture. And you can see this little icon of the picture. And, um, and then there's this text. Okay, so now once you've linked all of your variables, what you can do is you can create an Excel. So um, the Excel I've created is right here. So this Excel tells it what data that you need to put in. So at up the top, we need to put in the names of these variables. So this, you can change the name, but I'm just going to keep it as variable. So you can change that name to whatever you want. Like, oh, you can change it to Okay, so that's variable one. That's variable two, that's variable three, that's variable four. So now um, you have to have them up the top. So variable one, two, three, four, whatever you've named them. And if you have any photos, then you want to type the at symbol in front of them. So let me just do that. So if you just leave it as variable four, it won't work. You need to type the at symbol. And another thing Excel does is you need to put like the single quote, quotation mark on it because otherwise it thinks it's some sort of formula and it changes it every time you click on something else. So you need to have that quotation mark right there. Okay, so quotation mark and then at. 
to that, and then if you click out of it, it goes like this. <clears throat> so this is all the data, and for photos, you need this. Um, so this text data, you can just type it in as whatever you can type, whatever you want in it. Um, so, but this, um, these thingies, so the, for photos, you have to get the link from, you have to get the location from where they were. So if I full screen this, so if you can click up top here, you can copy this location and then paste it in there, so like that. And then after that, you can type in a backslash and then the photo name, so three dot p. And then save it. And one thing you do need to know is that if you save it, if save it saves it as an Excel. So mailvage video dot xlx. That means it's an Excel. Um, you shouldn't save it as an Excel. So if you want, you need to save it as a CSV file. So if you click into file, save as, um, browse, and then in here, I'm just gonna uh, scroll down to CSV. And then make sure it's comma delimited. Uh, not this, not these two down here. Um, make it comma delimited or comma separated or, so, or whatever. And as long as it has a comma. All right. So click that. And then file name. I don't know. It can just be. I'm just gonna name it. See so the name of this. Whatever you want. Um. So yeah, I'm just gonna save it like that. Save. Okay, so now in, um, let me, if I just close it, uh, now in here we should have two, and um, you shouldn't use this XLX, just use the CSV. Um, so what you need to do for that now is once you have your Excel ready and all of these linked up, linked up and um, all these variables here, what you can do is you can click on these three bars and then click load variable library. And then you have to search for that Excel which is here, and then this current document already contains variables. Do you want to overwrite the current variables and it's done? So click yes, and then it should have worked. So if you click these arrows up top, hmm. Okay, so it doesn't seem to work. I'm just gonna load variable library again. There, and then yes. Oh yeah, so you have to do that, and then let's just click that set one. And so that is data set one. I'm just going to move, move this across to there. Because, yeah. And then and then you can use these arrows. So make sure you hit that. And then use these arrows to scroll to the next one. So, for example, it's hi. Um, please subscribe to my channel and hit the like button. So, and then the, the, so that's the first one, second one, third one. So you can see they're all different. Hello, hello again, and then hello again. And this image over here, the smiley face, um, so it's just a normal smiley face, like a really smiley face, and then that. So you can see it all works. Now, um, so now that you've got that, well, the next thing you need to do is you, you need to um, export. So to export, um, what you need to do is you need to go into actions here. And at this point, you don't really need the variable, so you can just close it. But actually, I, I like keeping it up there in case. So you can just keep the variables off to the side. Um, so And then you need to click on actions here. So you can create a new folder, and then inside that, you're going to create a new action. And I'm just going to name it action one. And then that's a set, and blah, blah, blah. This doesn't really matter. And then you click record. Now, once you click record, you need to go up into file export and then export as so it'll export as and then i'm just going to go into finished results export as i'm going to export it as uh one or let's go to export as idk so and then if you click uh export so that'll um this thing you can just keep it like that so now that has the action in it and then you can stop recording Okay, so now you can uh, run that action. So you can play, actually. Um, you have to... How do I do this? 
I think you have to go into here and then uh, something here export as button no sorry sorry no not button but um it was one of them here I think it was action options no so um pretty much you have to link this over here so um I'm just going to try to figure out how to do it because um, okay so um, yeah I figured it out so you need to go into action and then you need sorry export as and then you need to go into batch now batch you need to click data sets make sure that's action one set mainline video um, and then um, so this one is pretty so this one is like uh, PNG and JPG this other top one can be used for other ones, uh, other ones so it depends on what you decided to save it as before when we were doing the export as thing so override action export command and uh, stop for errors and then click OK so that just runs through all three of them as you can see automatically did it and then now if we look in here finished results we'll have that one okay so it only printed one and now uh, let me just run that action again sorry for me i'll make sure that's on dash set one why isn't this working so going to batch data sets um yeah that ran through all of them and then maybe just save it save it in here okay okay all right so now if i run this oh sorry i already ran it um still i'll just open it up again okay so it's only coming up with this one which is the last one so if i delete that and then i'm just gonna re-record this delete that so i'm just gonna re-record it action one record file export export as and then i'm just going to make it a png and then um i'm just going to leave it and, and put in finished results and use our words maybe and then export okay background color yeah transparent works i guess i'm sorry yeah transparent um and then okay Okay, so now that has that, and then it's nice to jump record. Okay, so now that export has going to batch, that is that. Documents. Okay, select the folder, and then okay. That runs to one, two, and three. Now, if this does, yes, finally, there you go. So now it works. So that's um, um, that one, that one, and that one. That one just came up twice because I think I clicked it twice. So there you go. So that automatically um, prints out, so it spits out these ones. And that is how you do mail merge. Um, so, that, so if you like this video, please make sure to hit the like button. Um, actually, please make sure to subscribe to my channel and um, also make sure to hit the like button, um, which are both right down below and to the right of this video. And um, bye, see you in my next video.